All right. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's your brother Noah Hines. I hope that you guys are blessed and I wanted to make a video today concerning people having a fear of witches doing witchcraft against them. I know I've made a video kind of about this before, but I wanted to make another one because there are so many people that come to me on a weekly basis being afraid of the fact that you know, somebody in their family is doing witchcraft against them or people in their apartment are cursing them or, you know, people are astral projecting into their house in the night hour. These are stories. I've heard so many of them on a reoccurring basis. And guys, when you're constantly focused on this, it's, it's no good. So many people have uh, such a big fear of witchcraft and maybe you are being attacked by witchcraft, but it's just the spirit of fear that's trying to intimidate you. You guys, I ask people that, that tell me this, like a witch is doing curses against them. I ask them, do you have substantial evidence that somebody's actually doing a witchcraft against you? And you want to know what the answer is a vast majority of the time is the answer is zero. And I'm not talking about evidence with regards to you having a dream that somebody's doing witchcraft against you or you walk past some room in your apartment and you get fear because that person is around you. That's not substantial evidence. That, that could very well just be a demon putting fear in your head. You guys have to realize that demons love to give people uh, false problems, right? Like, I'm not denying the fact that you're being attacked. I'm not denying the fact that you're having these things happening in your body or you're having these mental afflictions and so forth. I'm just telling you that a demon is telling you the wrong reason as to why it's happening in many of these circumstances, right? Now, I obviously do believe that a witch could be attacking somebody and somebody really could have a curse of witchcraft on their life. Um, and I do acknowledge the fact that a witch could stalk somebody, but a vast, vast majority of the time, people don't have evidence that this is actually the case. The word of God says in Proverbs chapter 26 verse 2, as the bird by wandering and as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. So a curse causeless cannot land upon your life. God will bless you and put you above being attacked by witchcraft. You guys, you need to take this into consideration. If witchcraft really had as much ability to land on Christians as people thought that it did, every deliverance minister would be shut down by the end of the night, would be shut down by the end of the week because the witches would just come together and start cursing all of the deliverance ministers. But that doesn't happen. Why? Because God puts us above that witchcraft when we're walking in his will. You know, the word of God says to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So when you have all of this fear about about astral projection and where are the demons going and is, is somebody doing witchcraft against me you know God will take care of that stuff if you do his will if you walk in holiness if you walk in holiness and uprightness you don't have to worry about people doing witchcraft against you you guys want to know what actually opens you up to attacks the most or what could actually potentially open you up to witchcraft is fear there's a really good verse in the book of Job that I like in uh, Job chapter 3, verse 25, it says, For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. So a lot of the times these attacks are happening because you're afraid of witchcraft. The spirit of witchcraft is, uh, you know, a spirit of intimidation. One of the manifestations of witchcraft is intimidation. So this spirit of witchcraft will intimidate you and make you afraid. And that's really the problem that you're having in this situation a vast majority of the time. You you're afraid of strangers. You're afraid of demonic attacks. And then you blame it on witchcraft. And you you know what, guys? When, when I see people that are constantly like all afraid, somebody's also projecting into my room every night, they never find a solution because then you have to wait until that witch dies or come to, comes to repentance or something like that in order for you to have a solution. And now your freedom is contingent upon those witches' repentance or those witches, you know, stop cursing you and so forth, right? Once again, I do just want to acknowledge there are some people that are genuinely being attacked by witches. But uh, then once again, the solution at the end of the day is to not sit there and be all worried about the witches, but to focus on God's will, to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ, to obey Jesus Christ, and God will protect you. And I say this out of love to get you guys to be focused on the right thing, because like I was saying, the people that call me up and they're saying all of this stuff about astral projection, which by the way, I don't really believe that human beings can just leave their uh, their bodies on their own free will. You know, we're not like uh, spirit beings that can just go and travel wherever we want. Human 
human beings are living souls. So guys, when you see um, uh, witches in your dream, I've seen it as well too. I've seen witches in my dreams. Do I think it's really witches? Not really so much. I just think it's demons masquerading as witches. And if you're afraid of that, the demons are going to keep coming masquerading as witches in your dreams over and over and over. And you're going to think to yourself, man, I'm being attacked by so many witches. But in reality, what's happening a vast majority of the time is people are just afraid of witches and the demons think, oh, you know, he's got a weakness. She's got a weakness here, a fear of witches. So let's keep uh, appearing as witches in the dreams to this person. So yeah, guys, demons can take the form of witches, of warlocks. They, you know, they could take the form of an astral projector and whatnot. And when witches do attack people, I believe they attack people by method of sending demons on them. So really, at the end of the day, you're just fighting demons. Whether it's, uh, you know, witches attacking you and invoking those demons or not, or it's just straight up demons, which is the case of vast majority of the time, you know, still same solution at the end of the day, just to, you know, follow Jesus Christ, to love him, to receive deliverance and uh, continue on in his will. Some people that learn about deliverance and spiritual warfare start to get paranoid about every little thing. Oh, are the demons going into my family members? What if I sh shake somebody's hand and they're a witch and then I'm gonna get demons seven times worse or I'm gonna get demons and stuff like that. You, you guys, you can't develop that paranoid way of thinking when you learn about spiritual warfare. I realize it is a real present temptation. I've had temptations to think some weird thing happens when I'm at a grocery store, I have some weird dream, oh, maybe is, is, is it a witch? But I don't really pay it much attention. So what I find to be the most fruitful, beneficial thing, really at the end of the day, is just to focus on overcoming the demons. Focus on overcoming your sin. Focus on overcoming the anxiety and the depression and the lack of faith in God. And I believe you will see a lot of these problems that you might be blaming as witches attacking you actually start to dissolve. And I've prayed for people that told me that um, they had witches attacking them, and I didn't even really pray against witchcraft or anything like that. Well, I was praying deliverance for them and they got radically set free and they're doing way better in their life now. And I didn't even address the witch problem when I prayed for them. I just let them talk about the witch problem and I'm like, all right, let's address the sin and cast out the demons, right? So once again, guys, I'm not denying the fact that somebody could be attacked by a witch or could be stalked by somebody that is a demonic person. That is a reality and I'm not denying that, but I'm just saying find actual substantial evidence aside from you just having a dream that that is actually happening and also you know don't develop a paranoid mindset even if it is happening you know just continue to follow jesus christ as you would normally so i'm sorry guys i just had to make another video about this there's still so many people coming to me saying that they're being attacked by witches and this and that and, and you know when you first become born again you go through such an intense spiritual warfare you almost think to yourself man, I got to be being attacked by witches or something like that because I'm really going through some intense warfare, right? But if you blame your problem on anything other than we're fighting, whether it be alter egos, aliens, witches, and so forth, you know, then you're uh, wrestling against flesh and blood. You know, the word of God says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. So the devil wants to make you focus on wrestling against flesh and blood, you know, but uh, really at the end of the day, we need to fight against those uh, rulers of wickedness in high places. So anyways, guys, I hope that you were blessed by this video. May the fear of witchcraft, may the fear of witches and astral projection be broken off your life in the name of Jesus. And may you go and walk in freedom. The word of God says it is for freedom that Jesus Christ has set us free. God didn't have you learn about deliverance so that you could be paranoid and thinking this person's a witch, that person's a witch, this person's out to get me and walk around paranoid all day. That's not the reason God had you learn about deliverance and spiritual warfare so that but rather so that you can walk in freedom, so that you can walk in joy and peace and love and the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The people that are constantly focused on witches and astral projection that's attacking them, they're not walking in joy, they're not walking in you know, a sound mind and all of those things. So it's just not a fruitful way to approach this whole situation from what I see at large. Anyways, guys, I don't mean to be uncompassionate towards people that have been attacked by witches. There is a time and a place to pray against that. I will acknowledge that once again, because I know people will be like in the comments, oh, no, well, are you denying, you know, the, the possibility of witches attacking? No, I'm not. I'm just saying many Christians have too big of a heavy emphasis on it. 
And many of them, they don't have a proper solution to it. They're just stuck in an endless cycle of uh, fearful bondage, you know, which is no good. So anyways, guys, I hope that you were blessed by this video. Please understand where I'm coming from. You know, you would want to make a video like this if you had people coming to you every week saying they're attacked by witches and a vast majority of them have no evidence of it, you know. Uh, realize when, when people, when you have dreams or when you feel like something's in your room flying around in your room, that can just be a demon taking the form of a witch. Once again, I just want to drive that point home. Anyways, guys, be, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Amen.